Henry Maronga has had two consecutive days with power and is working flat out to deliver an overdue order, part of a piling backlog caused by crippling power outages of about 12 hours per day. We are 48 hours behind schedule um, and I hope that um, they understand that we have had some uh, electrical uh, problems uh, as a nation. The rolling power cuts peaked during the last week of September due to a technical fault at the Wange Thermal Power Plant, which curtailed already limited supply. The outages were devastating for Maronga. We could go for days and we would just sit and, um, you know, uh, we'll be losing money. For the past two, three days we have had electricity and we seem to be doing well. But still, it's not guaranteed. And to, for us to have comfort, we then need to have generators. And one generator comes with a leg and an arm. These things are not cheap at all. We need big generators, and we're talking of a budget of 1,000 to 1,500 US dollars for a generator. He's appealing for state support. We would want, um, you know, government to set up fund or policy to help small industries. Maybe it could be a generator, you know, scheme or something like that to just cushion uh, the burden, the pain that small startup companies are having. There is light at the end of the tunnel, though, for hard-hit businesses. On Tuesday, state media reported that the upgrade of Zimbabwe's main thermal power plant in Wange is on course with one of the two new furnaces that are being installed there set to start feeding the national grid as early as November. The $1.4 billion upgrade will produce 600 megawatts of electricity, which will help to bridge a deficit between supply and consumption that currently stands at about 700 megawatts.